Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another foundation testing is that so episode thing. We'll be testing the Revlon Colorstay makeup. I have the one for normal to dry skin and then I have the one for combination oily. And the one for combination oily, this is the darkest shade that they have and this is definitely not my color. So I have to use the Normal to dry skin in the shade Cappuccino yeah, 410. And let's see if there are any claims that Revlon makes. So it says it's America's number one long wear foundation with a mess free pump and SPF protection in 35 shades for every skin tone and skin type. Flawless coverage that lasts up to 24 hours. Comfortable, lightweight formula for all skin types to provide a smooth, perfected look. And so it's available in matte and natural finishes. And perfected finish for up to 24 hours. 35 beautiful, long-wearing shades. Buildable to full coverage. Contains hyaluronic acid to hydrate skin over time, which is good. Oil-free. And then this one that I'm using has SPF 20. I have an issue with the shade range. They say 35 shades, but they have two formulas, the combination oily and then the normal to try. So they're adding all of those together and saying that they have 35 shades. But in my opinion, they only have, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 for the normal to dry. There's 15 for the combination oily. They could expand it because there really isn't a nice range, as you can see. It's like mostly like pale or lighter colors and like one deep shade. So I'm just going to try this. Hopefully I don't look casket ready. So let's see. It doesn't have any application tips. I guess I'm going to use a brush on one side and a beauty blender on the other like I've been doing for this whole series. Gopher. Gopher, yeah. Okay, the shade is kind of orange, as you can see. And it kind of just blends into my skin with the brush, which is not a bad thing. So this is the side with the brush. You can definitely see this side is more orange than this side. And up close, it's not streaky, which is good. It is very lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on my face. So let's see how this applies with the Beauty Blender. The side with the Beauty Blender definitely has less coverage, which is okay. But it is blending out really nicely, so you could apply this any way that you want. And this is the side with the Beauty Blender. You can see my beauty mark still. Well, you can't see it on camera, but it's right here. And I'm only going to set my right side of my face. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into my Morphe E41 brush and set the rest of my face on my right side. I'm not gonna set my nose because I want to see if this foundation can stay matte on my nose. So I'm just gonna go about my day. I have a few errands to run and stuff. So I'll check in with you guys probably like once, like halfway through the day, and then I'll give you my final check-in later on. So yeah. Oh, one thing I did notice is that the foundation is kind of starting to separate on my nose for some reason. So I think I'm gonna set it and see if that helps at all because it shouldn't be separating like 10 minutes after I put it on. And I'm not gonna set my face with setting spray. I just want it to work on its own and see how this foundation works on its own. I use the same primer in every single of the, every single one of the foundation videos because I want them all to have this fair chance so yeah I'll talk to you guys later hi guys this is my first check-in um let me sit by my ring light so you can see this a lot better 
Okay, I'm folding laundry in the box, you don't mind that. I'm starting to get fairly oily in my T-zone. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. Could be a dry patch. So I did set this side. And I guess it's, yeah, it doesn't look as shiny as this side. Um, not really sure what's going on there. I did take a nap though, and it didn't really transfer onto my pillow, which is great. My pillow is also black, so I can't really tell. But so far I'm liking this. Uh, my sister said that I looked pink, so I think the undertone for this might not be the best match for me. But it's doing fairly well on my nose. It's oily, but it's not separating, so that's good. And I'll most likely talk to you guys at the end of the video. Hi guys, so it's the end of the night and this is what my face is looking like. Excuse my rubbed off eyeliner, I took a nap. Okay, so my thoughts on this foundation is it's decent. I just don't like the shade range at all. It's, it could be way better. Like Maybelline just came out with, or CoverGirl just came out with 40 shades. Maybelline has 40 shades. So Revlon should also have 40 shades in one line, not just in like in total with the combination oily and then the normal to dry skin. So like, as you can see, I'm looking very oily in my T-zone. My forehead is super, super shiny. I didn't blot. I didn't do anything. Um, there was This foundation went through a real test today because my sister and I went out and it was raining. So it was rain going all up on my face. So, and it survived. It didn't look that bad. But the thing is right now, the foundation is kind of gone on my nose, which is kind of weird because I don't touch my nose that often. Um, it could just be the oil separated the makeup and it's just gone. Um, it did kind of crease in my smile lines. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can't see it on camera, but it creased. Oh, another thing is that I looked pink. So the undertone of this foundation could be slightly off. But yeah, overall, I think this is a decent foundation. I, I'll have to test it out a little bit more to see if I like it completely and I I don't think it's good for the summertime because if it's hot and you already look like this but I've also been wearing this for 10 hours yeah. oh almost 11 11, 11 hours so if you I guess if you blot and stuff you won't look that bad but if you don't have time for that or you're just not into it then you might end up looking like this so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I'm testing out another foundation. Subscribe to my channel for future videos. I post three times a week during the summer. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.